how I established CBD was, um, gosh, it had to be a good a little over five years ago before really anybody knew, before it was a common household name, before people really understood what it was. Um, the pharmacy, the independent pharmacy that I work for, my boss had brought back samples for from a convention and they were kind of sitting on the shelf and I saw them and I was like, mm, what are these? And he was like, oh, you know, that's CBD, cannabis, da, da, da. And I was like, well, is this legal? Like, what, what's going on? He's like, no, it's used to treat things like pain and anxiety, which he knew I suffered from and was taking a medication for. And, um, you know, he said it's up and coming. You know, a lot of a lot of people are, are, are using it successfully. And at that point, there was maybe, you know, there was some brands out, but it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, like I said, like it wasn't a common thing. People didn't know what it was. So I decided to dabble in the samples. And within one week, I tapered myself off of Celexa, off an antidepressant that I was on for. For 16 years, with the exception of when I was pregnant with my son, I was off of it. But that was the only thing that would control that that antsy kind of panicky feeling. My hands and feet would go numb. I would get palpitations, shortness of breath. It happened to me eight to 10 times a day to the point where I went to my doctor and was like, what the heck is this? Of course, they wrote a script back then for, it was, I'm brand Zoloft old. So it was way back when, when Zoloft yeah, yeah. was brand. And I got, I, he put me on that and he put me on, he gave me a script for Clonopin. Okay. Like, see you next Tuesday. Like, what? These panic attacks, these things would last for maybe like 30, 60 seconds. Like, it wasn't something that was, you know, like like interfering. It was it was to the point where it was annoying and interfering with my day, but not something I, I, I needed something like that. So select so Zoloft then, and then after my son, I went on Selexa back when I when it happened again as soon as I had him. So I was on two different medications, but for 16 years, and in one week, I was able to taper off of that medication with um, CBD, and I just thought that that was ridiculous. So I was like, this is crazy, like a plant, come on. So I just dove in, and I dove in to research and, and learn more about it, and back then, there were not a lot of studies. It was very hard to find information, um, so a lot of it came from different manufacturers, so I was, you know, was dabbling in different brands and trying to find out what worked the best, and I was I was kind of experimenting with my close patients in the pharmacy, family and friends. Hey, are you willing to give this a try? Oh, you have, you're suffering from pain, migraines. Um, there's just so many different things, which I'll get into. But, you know, but it was it was something for me that when I saw how it helped me, I thought there has to be a better way for other people to use this to help them to not have to take so many pharmaceuticals. And I started a program. So it started very small. And, you know, it was funny when it started. We had our little dis display of like hot products at the register in the pharmacy. And people would look, kind of like look over their shoulders when they were looking at them like, is this legal? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> right. It was pretty, it was pretty comical. And a funny, a funny side story was I had like the, you know, just like marketing, like our, our fun products at the register. And there was this one thing it was called, it was called clear my head and it was for allergies. And you open the jar and it smelled like eucalyptus and stuff. It had nothing to do with CBD at all, but it was placed very wrong by me. People would like open the jar and they were like smelling it, looking over their shoulder. I think they thought it was like the products. And I was like, we would be watching behind the counter. We're like, maybe we should move that. Um, but it was hilarious. Um, but anyway, so I started to introduce it to, to, you know, to our customers. We started with, you know, very small and, and people that were open-minded and willing to try it. And I started work, working one-on-one -on -one and was seeing, I mean, anything from, from people with migraines either stopping them or when they like stopping them in their tracks. But if they were taking it regularly, like stopping their migraine condition altogether, where they weren't giving themselves injections to stop or taking a daily medication for their migraines or big thing pain from, from arthritis to muscle pain to neuropathy, people taking this and just, I mean, just couldn't believe how much it, how, how well it worked where people before COVID we would do samples and people would, you know, use a cream or something. And if they didn't buy it, then they'd walk out to their car and come back in and say, Oh my gosh, like that, they would buy it and be like, this is ridiculous. It works so quickly on my pain. Um, and then there's the anxiety, the depression, people that use it for that. I've seen, a dog, literally a dog had a tumor in her chest and the vet, the dog was on it for a month and they came back in and said, the vet was like, what are you doing? Like the dog's tumor is shrunk in like size and in girth. Like it was softer and smaller in one month of using CBD. 